All right, our treat for today is that we're gonna make homemade salsa. This is all of our stuff. Regular tomatoes, there's some Roma tomatoes, a white onion and some cilantro. That's gonna be kind of mixed that in there, uncooked. And then the yellow onion is gonna be smushed in with the with the other vegetables. We've got one jalapeno, some couple of red chilies, couple of green chilies, some lemon and lime, and of course, some garlic. So we're about to get started, so let's Let's see what kind of party we can throw making some salt. Okay, here's our next step. We can do this out on the grill or just on a little griddle or in a pan on the stove. We're just gonna kind of broil, not broil, kind of char all these vegetables. Our garlic, both of our tomatoes, the jalapeno and the red and green chilies and an onion. What else we got on here? tomatoes we're going to char this it just gives it that kind of smoky flavor but brings out the kind of smoky flavor and brings out the juice of all those vegetables before we put them in the mocajete and start mixing this stuff up so next it's going to be mocajete and mashing all this stuff okay now you see we've got everything scorched a little bit i cut everything in half the tomatoes because there's two big tomatoes and the two roma tomatoes and the two jalapenos, the two red chilies, the two green chilies, you see the onion, they all got a little burn on them, that's good. The garlic, I didn't I didn't scorch the garlic too much, and a lot of people when they're sauteing their stuff, you always put your garlic in last, because garlic burns real easy, and a lot of people don't realize that, and they've eaten garlic burnt for so long, they don't even realize it anymore. Even when you're sauteing stuff, and butter with some vegetables. Put your garlic in last and don't let your garlic um, overcook because it scorches the garlic. It burns really easy. And a lot of people are so used to that that they don't even know and they never, they really don't know the real flavor of garlic because they always scorch it. So now what we're gonna do, this is our mocajete. This is our blender, right? Our 16th century blender. And this one, this one is formed into a pig. That's a pig's face. This is actually, this, this one actually came from Mexico, Mexico. <laughs> These are formed out of volcanic, uh, not volcanic ash, volcanic lava. When the lava cools, they just cut off a big, big rock out of the lava. And then the guys just take a pick, you know, a little pick tool and hammer and they carve this out. And you see on the inside, it's, you know, you have, there's a way to treat this before you, before you use it. So you don't get the small little rocks in your food but this one's already treated so we're just going to start putting just a few things in the mocajete just a little bit and just a little bit at a time we're going to smash this down to make begin making our salsa look at that all those juices hot juice from the jalapeno and we're just gonna add a little bit at a time and just keep smashing and keep smashing. You, this, All of this here you could do in a blender, but I don't like to do it in a blender. This is more fun. It takes more time and your arm gets a little sore because it takes so long, but the, to me, the salsa just tastes so much better. So that's, that's our next move. We're gonna put all this stuff in there just a little bit at a time and start smashing it down. Get all those juices, all those different oils from the, the hot peppers, get it all mixed up good. And we'll be back. All right, look at that. Oh my gosh, and you got even already, even the aroma with the, yeah, the tomato, we get a, a lot of that juice comes from the tomatoes, but the onions that are smushed up, we first we put the tomatoes, onions, green, green chilies, red chilies, on the on the burner and kind of scorch them a little bit so it brings out the natural the, the oils and it gives them sort of a charred taste and this smells so good already but we're going to put some lemon and lime in here that's going to get that citrus in there and bring out another flavor and we're not we're, we're not gonna smush this that's a the yellow onion that we cut up in here we smush that yellow onion with the peppers and the tomatoes but we have like a half of a white onion. We're gonna put that in there, but we're not gonna smash that up because we wanna keep that like fresh and kind of crunchy. 
with some cilantro. So you can imagine that fresh onion, fresh cilantro, salt and pepper. And here we're going to do this. I always use Himalayan salt because Himalayan salt is so much fresher. In any salt that you buy, regular salt, all of the, <laughs> they get that out of the ground. And when you flush your toilet, where does the water go? It goes into the ground. So your salt is not pure. But if you get Himalayan salt, it's from up in the Himalayan mountains. So there's no, there's no, um, there's nobody's flushing sewer into the Himalayans. <laughs> so the salt is much, much, much fresher. So I only use Himalayan salt. So we've got some cilantro on my hand. We're going to squeeze in that line. Let's do another. I think I set this up. I was going to do a half a line, but oh, that's a tough line. Let's squeeze this sucker down. Come on, baby. There it goes. We got all those smells and all that oil from the peppers and the juice from the tomatoes. And that kind of thickens it up with some tomato meat of the tomato. And then we're going to do lim lemon is so strong. I'm not going to put, I'm only going to put one half a lemon. Look at all that juice from that lemon. Wow. And always do your lemons upside down. So if some seeds come out, you catch the seeds in your hand. Gosh, that was a juicy lemon. Now check this out. This is my biggest secret. The onions. So, oh, even putting your hands in those onions and cilantro, it's so, oh, you can smell it. We almost got too much for this mocajete. We, oh my God, we almost have too much. We're going to get all this cilantro. Oh, God. When you mix onion and cilantro, oh. So we put some salt in there. The salt, salt is like a natural, it's just a natural flavor that brings out the flavor in everything. I don't care if you eat dog and cat. If you put, if you put salt on it, it's going to taste good. <laughs> Now, we're going to take the pestle out of here and see if we can do this with one hand because I'm a professional chef and I'm making an award-winning video that's going to be on, it's going to receive a Grammy award. Is it Grammy or would that be an Oscar? Well, probably both. The raw onion, cilantro. Now these, the, the raw white onion and the cilantro. Oh. Oh, we already got salt. <laughs> we don't, of course, we're not going to include pepper because she's, we got a jalapeno, we got a red chili pepper, we got a green chili pepper, so we've got plenty of pepper taste. Look at all that color. Is that, oh my gosh, if you could smell that. Woohoo! Party, party. And this is, I have, and this is actually a good point. I have so many Filipino friends. They make a really good dipping sauce and they, they use vinegar and red chilies. Uh, what else? Vinegar, red chilies. I can't think of what else they put it. Put it but they, they dip their, their fish and their rice, even eating with their hands, and they, they just dip their fish and rice in, the, in their dipping sauce. And it's so interesting that that Filipino dipping sauce has a little bit different ingredients, but it's the same. It's the same as this Mexican salsa, but with the Mexican salsa, it's more... Let's see, we're gonna turn this around. I don't know how to turn it around. Nope, I'm not gonna do that because I don't know how to turn it around. So we're gonna move this out of the way. This is my two mason jars. Look at that. We're just gonna put this in our mason jars and then cover it. We're not gonna do any kind of boiling or anything, any other special treatment. We're just gonna put this in mason jars and put it in the refrigerator. 
And again, all this stuff that we just did, you can do in a blender, no problem, but there's something about doing it in a mocajete just makes it taste so much better. Yeah. Look at that. Let's scoot the, the jars back so you can see it. Look at that. Look at all that color. Oh, gosh, if you could smell that. Cilantro, the onions, the tomatoes that have been scorched a little bit. The, the yellow onion that's been scorched a little bit. My gosh, the jalapeno and the red chilies and the green chilies, they've been scorched a little bit. Wait, let's get another spoon, do a taste test. I should have done that already. Dun, 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 dun. Let's do a taste test. Woo! My gosh, it's so hot. And I think I told everybody earlier, because we have the jalapeno and the red chilies and the green chilies, I took the, before we put the, before we put, we cooked them, not cooked them, but we scorched them on the, the griddle to scorch the skin a little bit and make the oils come out of the peppers, right? But then afterwards, I cut the, the peppers in half lengthwise and I took a spoon and I dug the, the seeds out of the peppers because I knew it was gonna be so hot. And gosh, even though I took the peppers out, woo! This is a hot sauce. <laughs> it's very hot. All right, let's get some of the juice. That's it. Hey, what is that? How did a beer get in my video? What what the hell is that? Whiskey? How did whiskey get in my video? What the hell? I don't know how that happened. All right, so we're gonna put the juice. Gosh, that is so hot. Okay, folks, that's it. I'm gonna put the lid on this, put it in the fridge, and now we can get some tostitos or some Doritos chips. And there's our, our salsa. Like in the Philippines, they would say dipping sauce. And again, it's vinegar and what else? Some vinegar and different kinds of hot chilies because it's so funny. It, Filipinos are like Mexicans. Like this, this sauce. Mexicans like hot sauce. Filipinos are the same. They like hot dipping sauce. Um, but the ingredients are a little bit different, but that's my dipping sauce for my, for my chips. Look at that, homemade salsa. Woo! Okay, folks, that was it. So now you can make your own salsa. How in the hell did a coronavirus beer get, and a whiskey get in my video? That's it. I'm gonna file a grievance. Somebody's in trouble. I don't know who's drinking that. Okay, good video. Thanks for watching, folks. Everybody watching, please, the, the link below, hit subscribe, because we need your help uh, building this video. So, hit, click, you know, everybody always says click like, share the video, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Twitter. But for sure, for sure, for sure, like the video and always, always, always click the subscribe button. So every time I do a cooking video, or if Miss Marissa does a video in the Philippines, you could always see, because my videos are always in, in the US and her videos are always in the Philippines, but in coming weeks, she's gonna be here. So Miss Marissa and I are gonna be doing videos together and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So thanks folks for watching. Look at that homemade salsa. Wow.